Plymouth is a city of makers, a city of social enterprise, a city of voyagers, discoverers and explorers. And as Britain's ocean city, it is home to those who strive in charting new waters. As many have done before, we look to the horizon for new opportunities for commerce, for trade and for innovation. The Fab City Initiative perfectly underpins our ambitions and indeed our activity in seeking out new ways to make our city more sustainable, more inclusive, ambitious and ultimately more productive. And we're making a bid to become the UK's first fab city. Now, why are we doing that? Well, we've all heard about globalism and we've all heard about the rise of urbanism. Most of us are going to be living in cities in a very short period of time. Sometime this century, more of us can be living in cities than ever before. What does that mean? Well, it means that we're going to be creating a lot more waste and we need cities to do something about that. Plymouth is recognised for its strength across marine industries and advanced manufacturing, with global companies and world-leading research institutions already based here. And as we move to rebalance the economy, there is an increasing role for the voluntary sector and community and social enterprise sector. Plymouth has recognised the value of the social economy, and as Britain's first social enterprise city, there are around 150 social enterprises, employing around 7,000 people and bringing in an income of over £500 million. We need to get better at producing what it is we consume. We need to get better at making sure that we don't leave a waste stream behind us as we continue economic growth. And this responsibility is really important, no more important than its impact on climate and climate change. This is a council that's already declared a climate emergency. We'd already signed up to the Paris Accord, but things are not moving fast enough. And we know that we need to make sure that we accelerate our programme of greening our city, of making it more environmentally responsible and sustainable. And we can only do that by making sure that we don't just talk about it, but that we have actions. We are a small city, but an agile one. A place that seeks to reinvent itself, harnessing an all-important culture of creativity, technology and people-led solutions to overcome the challenges we have had to face over the years. We see this investment in people, in manufacturing, design, heritage, technology and creativity as central pillars and the motivating factors to our joining of the Fab City movement. And we pledge that as a city we will work towards the goal of producing what we consume by 2054.